So, what is up, Ken? Um, so, naging magulo na naman yung trade mode ngayon. Actually, wala ka. Na namang win ngayon. At yung setup is tuloy-tuloy pa din. Hindi pa din bumabalik sa yung um, zone, yung market. Kaya hindi ka pa nakaka-entry. Pero, uh, I think, ayun. Wait, I had a entry. Lost entry. Pero yung mga entry na yun is parang partial-partial lang. Parang padalwa-dalwa. Kaya, yun, hindi, kahit nakatatlong trade ako, eh, na maliit lang. Around 3 dollars at all, 4 dollars yung loss. And, yun, itakal ko ngayon. So, first loss natin is around this level right here. Kasi, yung market, eh, um, buy, ah, bias natin talaga sa market. Nung una is bullish tayo. Bullish naman talaga ang bias natin. Hindi tayo nag, uh, short. Um, as you can see, the market breakout on this area right here. So, we want at least the market to go, or to have a retest on this area right here before it continue to go up. But as you can see, we have a. Uh, meron tayo mong mga supply zone or order blocks sa ating lower time frame. So as you can see, um, we had a fake out and then kala ko yung market na hanggang dito na and it's going to go up. Especially we had this nice bullish candle. So nagentry ako dito and then placed my stop loss at around I think around here ata. No, oh, and then I got stepped out. So that's the first one, and then the second one is at. Around this area, as you can see, um, uh, imbalance na cover na hit yung imbalance, natas yung imbalance, and then we had a huge again bullish candle. So the market really wants to push to the upside. So sabi ko sige, bilim mo na ang dalawa dito, and then um, along the way, add ako, add ako, and then pag nag breakout, add ulit ako dito sa breakout, and then add ulit ako dito sa pullback, and then yan, that, that's my plan. That's my plan. But as you can see, I entered right here and then got stepped out with this huge candle right here. Now, we have this nice um, bullish candle right here, diga. So, hindi na ako dyan mag-entry. Um, sabi ko, pahala na. Hindi ako dyan mag-entry. Dito ako mag-entry sa breakout na talaga. Susundun ko yung plan ko. And then, as you can see, we have this peak right here. This huge candle right here. So, ang nangyari, just misilip na yung market. So, nag-add ako dyan. And then, guess what? We got fucking rejected, bro. So yun, yun nangyari. And then, nangyari. And then, pero yung overall trade setup natin is, um, punta tayo sa 4-hour time frame. As you can see, sa 4-hour time frame, time frame, we are having a support zone. No, we are being supported on our zone, on our trade uh, key level. So, more likely the market want to push for the upside. And that is what we are looking for kanina. At around this one, we are being rejected. So, we can, we are looking for a bullish entry talaga. As you can see, we have the breakout right here. So, we are looking for a possible or potential entry to the upside. So from here, 6, 6 o'clock, um, actually, um, wala akong nakikita magandang entry unless mag-break dito yung market. Kasi as you can see, we got, this is a uh, uh, area of, or this is a key level, no? At least mag-break dito yung market and then at least retest. And that's my entry. But as you can see, we are rejecting. And, pero kanina, um, 30 minutes tayo. Yan, ito yung sinasabi ko, 30 minutes. We are being... Uh, this is a uh, key level kanina and hindi pumalik dyan yung market and yun so kanina nakapag-entry sana tayo kung iba yung perspective natin kanina or iba yung ating uh, vision no, kasi yung vision natin makasakay tayo ng long position at least maging intraday tayo at hindi scalper no? so, pero kanina di ba kita mo naman market push to the upside and we are looking for a bullish confirmation or a rejection right so um well hindi ko din basta um nagkaroon ng fake out bumalik yung market dito so I am looking for a possible um, I think uh, bearish entry a retest right here pero yun din kita mo naman um, the market actually went down if you go to the 5 minutes time frame the market actually went down had a retest and then if we entry here take profit here then we win no but hindi ko naman din masisi yung sarili ko kanina kasi hindi ako maka-entry dyan bakit? kasi meron dito supply zone nga so this supply zone can actually give us a momentum to go to the upside o eh lalo na bullish tayo so alangan din talaga mag short position dito no and um yun although may rejection dito alangan din talaga mag entry ng short position kaya hindi hindi naman masisi yung sarili ko pero um hindi ko nakita eh we had a liquidity here liquidity grab here as you can see a huge candle this is also a good entry na sana but I, again I want the market to break out and then had a retest here kasi kita mo naman market still struggling on this area no 
Then this one is another good entry right here. Kasi the market just flew uh, tumalon or lumipad na pataas si market and hindi na tayo binigyan ng chance na makasakay pa. No. So yun, the market is actually having a rejection now. And I hope maka-entry na tayo pero can we actually I think din natin sakyan yung ano nito eh. Rejection or pretest base. Let's see no. Meron uh, bago tayo maging uh, bumalik dito, eh kailangan muna natin maging at dito sa line na to tsaka dito. No. But we are having a huge rejection na. Ah. No, huge liquidity can liquidity candle. Push with the liquidity here, liquidity grab. Then the market might potentially go to the downside right here. But I am pretty bullish on Sol, so I don't really want to entry any short position on Sol or in any area. No. And we're actually down at $89 and Siyempre, babawi tayo. Lagi yun. Matalo man nalo. Lagi meron bukas. Para bumawi. No. So, yun lang, Ken. Um, that's the update. And I think uh, might be done for the day. And maybe just straight tomorrow. No? So, yun lang, Ken. And peace out. Have a good day. Hello. See you. Hello, hello. Hello? So, hello. Additional lang to. Uh, total of, ano ko, bali. At around, I think, 11.41 loss. Yes. And, actually, mababa pa yun kanina. Oh, dapat, na-cover up ko yung loss ko at least kanina. Nag-90 dollars pa yun. Kaso, um, um, yun, dapat, win pa ako at uh, bumalik pa ako ng $90 kaso again I lost pero itatakil ko lang ba't ako nag loss kanina so again this is Sol and if we go back dito tayo nagkaroon ng trade actually. I think dalawang beses pa nga ulit tayo nag-entry. So total of at around yun. 6 additional 6 loss. Yun 6 dollars loss. Ah shit. Kasi nag-entry ako ng 10. Which is pretty stupid and yeah. Let's go back. Uh, as you can see uh, we are having a rejection in this area right here. A huge rejection and we are hoping uh, for the market to go down to this level right here the 4 hour time frame as you can see we have this uh, area of key level at least gusto natin yung market bumaba dito mag retest actually um, kasi sa 30 minutes hindi pa tayo nakapag retest dito at this area right here and then as well as here so tomorrow I think I'm going to be bullish if hindi pa din nagtetest dito yung market kasi gusto natin sana bumaba dito yung market to have a better or mas maganda yung flow yung market no? pero yun babalik tayo ang dami yung trade I have total of 1 2 3 4 5 6 trade wow so the, we have a um, rejection candle on this one 15 minutes nagkaroon pa nga ito ng liquidation eh dito so may liquidity dito liquidity grab and then uh, we had a break of structure on this uh, if we go to the 5 minutes time frame or 3 minutes time frame we actually had a nice um, head and shoulder pattern head left head and right shoulder no so the market pulled back down and then nagkaroon dito ng huge rejection yung market so nag entry na ako dyan kasi um, nakala ko hindi nababalik yung market dito sa area na to kasi kita mo naman uh, malaki yung rejection ng market and the possible go down so at least here no so, yun, uh, natalo pa nga dito kasi 
uh, nakita ko to bullish candle na to so nag early out na agad ako actually 2 dollars loss dapat pero oh, malaking fee at around 2 dollars yung fee so yun and then again my second entry was on this area right here this rejection actually nag close dito yung candle kaya nag pick pa nag uh, entry na agad ako and then my stop loss was around this level right here I think ba't ako na stop out pina ba ako ah dito pala so yun kita mo nag entry yung market nag entry ako dito the market actually go down until this level kaso nandito yung take profit ko and then yun nag ready pa ako dapat dito na muna ako naging very cautious kaso hindi nag maasim pa ako ah yun I actually hit my it actually hit my stop loss rather than in profit kasi as kung papansin mo sa mga dati kong entry ang ginagawa ko napapa early out ako pero yung market bumababa pa so nag try ako na mag hold pa o mag settle for get kaso end up here so kung gagawin ko siguro yun kailangan ko pa din maging cautious kailangan ko pa din mag ingat although second for get kasi may mga line dito and we're actually not super bearish no nasa correction phase lang tayo so anytime pwede magkaroon ng reversal and yun yun lakin and bukas gusto ko sana maayos kayo akin kahit sa losses lang huwag dun na sa profit sa ibababa ko siguro yung loss ko per day at dun ako magpo-focus hindi sa game kasi napapalaki yung loss ko dahil ay sa profit na hinahabol ko So my target loss is five dollars and one cent lang, one cent lang and yeah, and eighty dollars. Puna natin so four dollars or five percent. I think. Pati niyan. Um, siguro magentro lang ako na five or four. Siguro four para at least maximum one dollar each. No, so yeah, four and then around 1 is the 2 so at least tinan natin no tinan natin at dun na muna ako magpapokus sa losses ko ayun 1 is the 2 lang at hindi ako magmamadali muna masyado and please huwag kang mag-entry na wala kang magandang setup no kung kanina wala hindi bumalik yung market sa zone mo it's okay then you don't have an entry for today it's okay you don't have to force anything to force anything kung hindi pumunta yung market sa iyong uh, zone sa bias mo, then so be it. Get out of the chart. And halos maghapon kang tumitingin sa chart. So, ang ano mo is around 6 to 10. Yun yung maximum mo. No, Ken? And yun lang. Ayoko na magtagal pa. And peace out.